I'm Chef Mike Moses and welcome to my kitchen. I received a parcel in the mail today and it's from Stargazer Cast Iron. This is a cast iron frying pan I have been waiting for and we're going to review it coming up. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of these, I post a new video every weekend right here on this channel. I've been cooking with cast iron for quite a while, but I haven't been cooking with the proper cast iron. Stargazer is a fairly new company. They've re-engineered the cast iron frying pan. They made it a lot better, in my opinion. They started off with a 10 and a half inch frying pan, redesigned, a little lighter, and this one comes ready to go, all seasoned, and we're going to look at it, and then we're going to test it. So, let's open up the box. Some nice packaging. As you can tell, it's wrapped. Oh yeah. Wrapped in plastic and tape. Oh, oh, smooth as a baby's bottom. That's what you're looking for in quality cast iron. As you can tell, this one is bronze in color, and that's because it's already been seasoned, which is not a big deal. It's everything I want. The handle, now if you have small hands, you're gonna find it wide, but that's okay. I have fairly big hands. Another handle here, so you can hang on to it safely if you're using a barbecue or putting it in the oven. Remember, whenever you have cast iron, uh, even though there are vents and holes in the handle and stuff, you should always either have a towel or have a mitt or something so you don't burn yourself. In terms of the fit and finish, and of course the important smell test, um, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Made in the USA. And they put their logo on it. 10 and a half inch, and for us Canadians, 26.7 centimeters. Thank you very much, I like that. It also, if you notice, doesn't have a pour spout. The whole edge is beveled, so you can pour from anywhere. That's a really nice touch. Okay, I'm gonna give this a wipe down, just a really quick wipe, and then we'll see how it reacts. Um, what are we gonna cook? How about we'll cook an egg and some Swiss chard. We'll make a little breakfast. Egg breakfast. I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm gonna make it a healthy breakfast. And mind you, eggs are healthy, but we're gonna kick it up a notch, so to speak. And I've got some fresh, organic rainbow chard. I'm just gonna rinse it off here. Okay. So we got some very pretty rainbow chard. First, we're gonna heat up the cast iron. Remember, low to medium low is our first bit of heat. And because I'm using uh, this cast iron for the first time, I'm going to add a little more oil. And instead of oil, I'm actually going to use some clarified butter. Let's get our chard ready to go. I'm going to cut off the ends first. Get them all up together. Ends are nice and clean. And we also want the stalks up to the leaves. And we'll cut these up. We'll cook these first, just to add a little texture and a little crunch to our dish. There, mm, they smell good. So we've got my eggs, I've got my chard, and I'm actually going to take each leaf, cut it down the spine, and cut it again. They are gonna render down If you've seen the things on TV lately, uh, fire departments are asking you when you're in the kitchen not to leave anything unattended. I think that's a good piece of advice. Um, actually, I think that's a great piece of advice because you really don't want to leave a pan or a pot on the stove and then have the damn thing catch on fire. Stoves get hot. They don't get up to 300 degrees and stick there. Um, some stoves can get up to 1,500 degrees on high, and that's hot. All right, our chart is ready to go. Just 
feeling the temperature of my pan is slowly coming up the temperature. Because this is a new Stargazer pan, uh, I've got my heat. I want to see how evenly this, this, this heats up. So it's heating up right now. It's 180 degrees uh, Fahrenheit all the way through. About 75 Celsius. Good thing to have a little uh, infrared thermometer. I always tell if your pans are nice and hot. This is now at about 200 degrees. Turn up the heat a little bit more. I'm going to add some clarified butter. Just about a tablespoon. And I'm going to put in the stalks of the chard. And as always, when we put anything on the fire, we give it a little seasoning, pepper, and The reason I'm doing the stocks first is that they're kind of tough and they won't render and wilt as fast as the uh, leaves will. This is a very colorful dish. I think it's one that you could probably present to a loved one first thing in the morning. A nice smile, nice egg. And the reason I use clarified butter is that the smoke point is a lot higher. Uh, to clarify butter, uh, I'll, do, I'll do a tutorial on how to clarify butter, but basically I removed all the fat from it and I'm just left over with, with the butter oil and the taste, which is, uh, that's why you use butter, right? Everything tastes better with butter. Now to add the leaves of the char, again, a little bit of seasoning. and this won't take long to render down. If it would stay in the pan, that would be appreciated. That's what I like about cooking at home. You can throw stuff all over the place. It really doesn't matter. Actually, it does because I have to clean up afterwards, but that's all right. To wilt the Swiss chard down probably takes anywhere from three to five minutes, depending upon the heat. Now remember, we're not at a high, high heat here. I'm actually uh, just under medium. As you can tell by the sizzle, I've got lots of action going on. Remember how this was piled up high? It's now wilted down to about half. And you'll be able to tell when the Swiss chard is tender because the stalks will feel tender. And some of the color actually leaches out into the butter. I think we are good to go. Now, I'm gonna put this on a plate. And to keep your cast iron on a stick, Give it a little wipe out, put it back on the heat. Again, I'm gonna add some more clarified butter. Just about a teaspoon. And we're gonna cook one perfect egg. Because I've got the butter in here, I can actually take the butter. And baste the egg. And you can use oil as well. Very end with seasoning. A little more basting. That's one done egg. All right, time for presentation. Take some of our char. In the middle. And our egg. The test. Pull them out. Yep. Look at that. And if you can see, there's absolutely nothing left in the pan. They're completely clean, which is a nice thing. Turn the heat off. Once you're done with a cast iron pan, turn the heat off, let it cool down before you clean it. There's our egg on some Swiss char. And I think I need some greenery. Sauteed Swiss char with a fresh fried egg on the top, done perfectly in our new Stargazer cast iron skillet. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I post videos like this every week, so please subscribe. Also, if you'd like more information, head over to my blog, thepersonalchef.blog, where I post this recipe that you can print off. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to helping you cook better, eat healthier, and shop smarter.